Hello there and welcome back. Thank you for joining me here on the Total OS Today Technology Channel. Another look at a new release from Ubuntu Mate to 6.16.10. Those of you who follow this channel know that Ubuntu Mate is one of my favorites, uh, one of my favorite Linux distributions when it comes to something for beginners. We'll take a look at this and see if uh, I can recommend this as a choice, first choice for beginners. I am running this off a USB stick. I haven't changed anything. I did install the Kazam screen recorder and I'm using a little inexpensive clip-on microphone so if the sound sounds a little bit muddled I apologize. This is the default desktop here. The welcome screen. Hello and thank you for downloading Ubuntu Mate. Let's click continue. Okay, so we have some options here, installation help features, introductions, and so on. Uh, let's go to installation help. Let's see if this will help out a beginner. Uh, well, if you're running Windows, you may want to take a look at dual booting. So let's take a look and see what this looks like. Keep in mind, I have not taken a look at this. Okay, so should you wish to install, should you wish to install Ubuntu Mate alongside your existing operating system, your partitions need to be shrunk. Okay, all right. This results in sections of your hard disk. Okay, being split. Um, to minimize the risk of data loss, ensure that there is enough free space, 10 gig minimum. I'd go at least 20 gig if it was me. Back up important data, absolutely. Which approach would you prefer, repair, boot, Problems. I haven't really run into boot problems. Approach here, simple or advanced. Uh, let's try simple. Okay, the simplest method is to use the installer. The installer scans your disks for existing operating systems and provides a choice of what you'd like to do. You'll see an option like this, install Ubuntu Mate alongside Windows XP. Windows XP? Really? People are still using Windows XP? You better not. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if you are completely new, use the simple option. So I'm good with that. Uh, let's go back and uh, let's take a look at features. Okay, modern full featured, pre-configured, built-in security. Ubuntu Mate is designed with security in mind unlike, uh, unlike operating systems that update only once a month. Ubuntu Mate receives updates continuously. Um, I'm not sure, but doesn't Windows 10 kind of do that continuously and not only um, once a month? I don't know. I really haven't really paid attention. Um, okay, Ubuntu Mod taking get viruses and other infections, but it doesn't. Uh, rapid and timely updates. I'm sure that there are a few. Okay, I'll buy that. Uh, another significant security feature of my Ubuntu Mate is that users are not administrators by default. Okay, that's fine. Power applications, of course, Firefox, Thunderbird. Okay, so for beginners, I'm all cool with this. And the rest is self-explanatory, I believe. So let's go ahead and close that. Very nice to have a welcome screen. Highly, highly appreciative of uh, the lead developer, Martin Wimpress. Hello, Marty. Uh, highly appreciative to have that, especially for beginners. The default desktop here, right click as you would in Windows, I suppose, and this will give you the option to um, change your background. Now keep in mind, if you uh, do this, run this as a full install, it should run a little bit uh, or considerably faster, although off the USB drive, it's running pretty darn good as it is. In fact, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, kitty cat. I like cats. Okay, I'll leave it with the cat. Uh, let's see. Starting from the top, shut down. Again, if you are coming from Windows, this should be self-explanatory. Uh, Right-click sound preferences. I don't think I need to go through all of this. At least I hope not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the keyboard. And of course, Kazam screen recorder. The one thing I've liked about the Mate desktops is the ability to customize it easily as opposed to say something in GNOME Shell, uh, right click, uh, you can add uh, what are called applets, little pieces of uh, software shortcuts. Let's add the um, trash icon. And there it is right here and you know you can move it about and stuff like that. So I'll just leave it there. 
Okay, Firefox installed by default, and Ubuntu Mate doesn't really have a start button per se as you would in Windows 10. I guess you could say it has three of them, but even that's not quite accurate. Uh, but self-explanatory applications, places, systems. Let's take a quick look. I will not go. I will not go through all of these. Uh, let's see if anything sticks out. Synapse, a terrific search tool. Education, LibreOffice, graphics. Um, let's see. Okay, nothing unusual here. Internet, of course, Firefox by default. Office, LibreOffice Suite, sound and video. Uh, the one thing I wish this had was a, a screen recorder installed by default, but no big deal. I installed Kazam and hopefully it will not crash. VLC is very nice. System tools. Uh, let's go to the system monitor. Now it is running a gig. It is, it is a little bit high, but that's to be expected. Again, I, I, have, I am not running this as a full install test and running it off the USB stick. Screen recorder running. You know what? This is fine. I have no problem with that. Uh, let's see. Anything else that sticks out? Ah, very nice. The GW Package Manager. Great for installing packages or, or pieces of software. If you are completely new to this and have no idea what GW is, don't worry about it. Trust me, it's good that it's there. Okay, let's go to Places. Of course, the Home Folder. Again, self-explanatory here. Icon View List and Compact. Boy, this is running so smooth. It's great. Desktop computer and my hard drive and recent documents. Okay, System administration oh this is where you would go to uh, one of the places you can go to install software let's try the software boutique I like that software boutique it sounds so proper doesn't it like the, the boutique in a, a little dash of great coupon that was a commercial for I guess fancy mustard anyway uh, let's see, what do we have here? Accessories, education, cool. You can scroll, games, this will give you some options to install uh, software based on categories. Okay, I'm cool with that. So if you are new to this, should not be an issue. Uh, let's see, did I miss anything under administration? Uh, nothing unusual here. Preferences, hardware, internet, look at feel, other personal uh, let's go to um, let's see what I want to do what do I want to do let's go to look and feel mate tweak interface panel okay you have some choices here not to change the, on how to change the look of this let's go to mutiny on the bounty good movie Okay, so you just change quickly, change the look of your default desktop. It's, what's nice about this, you don't have to like reboot or log out or log in, it's automatic. Um, so if you don't, don't like the look of this, it just adds a panel, I guess, kind of like a super bar to the left. Uh, let's go back to um, the default Ubuntu Mate and leave it the way it is. Boy, I can't get over how smooth this is running. Okay, you have a secondary, okay, a little glitch here, but I have a feeling this was fully installed. That may not even pop up. You do have a second panel here at the bottom um, for desktops here to choose uh, as an option, desktop changer preferences and or uh, sorry workspaces or I guess desktops anyway you don't need this at the bottom you can right click and delete the panel or you can add something else to this whatever you want uh, whatever let's see let's see let's add um, now there is a different version of the mate menu let's see if we can add that see if it'll pop up here Okay, this is more of the traditional, I guess, more Linux Mint-ish of the uh, Mint menu that's available here for Ubuntu Mate. You may like this better. It gives you an instant search option here at the bottom. Uh, you don't have to use that. You, you can keep it there or remove it immediately. Um, I'll just remove it, but 
then again, but that again, that's just an option, an easy option to customize your Ubuntu Mate desktop. Default folders here, the home folder, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, and install Ubuntu Mate 16.10. I think I'm done with this. No glitches. It runs smooth running off a, uh, off a USB stick, so it's perfectly fine and safe to test if you're not sure. Uh, this is designed uh, for new and for uh, older uh, computers. Uh, I would say, I, I think the recommendation is at least 512 megabytes of RAM. I would have consider, I would have at least a gig if it was me. But if you have an older computer, uh, with at least a gig, uh, you should be fine. But this is running great. Uh, I enjoy running the 16.04 version of this. Look, when I do my videos for this channel, I use two computers. One has Ubuntu Mate, one has the uh, default Ubuntu or with the default Unity desktop, also 16.04. I can't quite recommend uh, Ubuntu Unity for absolute beginners, but for absolute beginners, I can definitely recommend this. In fact, I will go so far as say that this is going to be, for this year, my number one choice for beginners coming to the world of Linux or want to try a Linux-based operating system. And once again, the beauty of this, you don't even have to install it to run it. You can just keep it on a, on a USB stick and you're good to go. So this is it. This is my number one Linux for this year for beginners. I need to stress that for beginners. Uh, so check it out. I think you will like it. Okay, so I'm going to end this now. Hopefully the recording did not crash and if it's good to go, I will upload it. So thank you for watching. If you haven't, subscribe and support this Total OS Today channel. As always, enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. Meow.